Hey friends, happy spooky season. I am excited to share with you today three like food recipes, either for a Halloween party or just to make for your kids. I actually made this for a Halloween lunch, like themed lunch for my kids and they absolutely loved it. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a jello brain, a cauliflower skull and pizza intestines, um, all of which were really fun to make and the kids thought it was so cool. So you can make this for a Halloween party or just for your kids lunch as I said just to make things fun. If you've been here a while you know I love making themed food like this for the holidays. I just really enjoy it and my kids find it so funny and cool and they really love the gross stuff still. So let's go ahead and get into these recipes. The Jello Brain is super simple. You're just gonna follow the directions on the package of whatever flavor Jello you want. I chose to do strawberry because I thought it would look more like a brain. It'd look kind of bloody, um, but you could also do green and make like a zombie brain. Um, I've seen that a lot on Pinterest. So I chose strawberry, and you just mix one cup of boiling water with the packet. Make sure it's fully dissolved and then you mix in one cup of cold water and then you're going to pour it into your mold. I got these brain molds on Amazon a couple of years back. I will leave them in the description box down below. So if you want to get one, it'll be linked down there as well. I think you can find them at like Walmart and stuff too during the holidays. So then you're just going to pour your jello into there. Make sure it's kind of level so it doesn't spill. Mine did end up spilling a little bit, but I tried to keep it like snugly in this container because um, it's an odd shape so it kind of wants to wobble around and then I'm going to add gummy worms to the brain just dropped a couple in there so that could be actually inside of the brain and then once it sets up I'm also going to add some like outside the brain as well and then you put this in your fridge for like four hours or I just left it in the fridge overnight this part is optional if you want a little bit of like fake blood on the outside of your brain. You can mix together some light corn syrup and some red food coloring. I definitely made way too much. I suggest starting with just a little bit of corn syrup and a little bit of food coloring and then make some more if you think you need some more because I had way too much of this. And then you can take your brain jello out of the jello mold. I find it's easiest to like put your container that you're gonna put the jello mold on um, like on top of the mold as like a lid and then flip it over and it comes out pretty easily and, and then I decided to stick some of those gummy worms down into the brain I used a straw to poke some holes and then have the gummy worms like kind of coming out of the brain uh, Kind of still looks like a zombie brain uh, pretty gross um, And then I just laid some gummy worms around it as well and then drizzled it with that fake blood And I think it looked really cool and it tasted delicious Next, I'm making the pizza intestines. This is basically like a calzone. Um, I wanted to use the crescent dough sheets, but I didn't feel like going to any other store besides Aldi. So if you can get that, that would really work well for this. And you could just cut it in half long ways so you've got two rectangles. But since I'm using the crescent rolls, I am just going to open up the package and then tear apart. So I've got two like rectangles and then pinch together all the little triangles so we don't have any cracks in our little pieces of dough and if you want to fill up an entire sheet pan you're going to need multiple packs of crescent rolls I'm just going to use two rolls but you might need like four if you're going to fill an entire sheet pan I am filling like a half sheet pan so I'm going to do this twice and you're just going to want to put on some like pizza sauce down the center of each rectangle and then some mozzarella cheese and then some pepperoni or whatever toppings you want and then you can fold the edges of the crescent dough over into the middle so that they're overlapping, touching, and you can pinch them together so that it's sealed. And then we're going to transfer this to a baking sheet. I did the seam side down on most of it, but you're just going to want to kind of arrange it in a way so that it's like curving around each other and make it look like intestines. And as I said, I made two packs of crescent rolls, so I ended up with four like logs I guess and I just kind of like connected them and twisted them around and kind of made them look like intestines and then the thing that's really gonna make this look good is putting on a little bit of pizza sauce just a thin layer and spread it all over the tops of the crescent rolls 
and it just gives it a nice red color and looks like blood. And then this went in the oven and baked on 375 for about 20 minutes. Next, I am making this cauliflower skull. I saw this on Pinterest and honestly, I thought this was going to turn out to be a fail, but I think it turned out pretty good. The kids thought it looked pretty creepy. So you just take a head of cauliflower and kind of with a knife, carve it to make it look like a skull. I didn't think it was going to turn out too good, but I like it in the end. I used my cookie scoop to kind of hollow out the eyes, a small knife to make a little triangle for the nose, and then I used that small knife to also kind of try to make a mouth. Some of the recipes, it looked like they used some different things for teeth. I just kind of like went at it and kind of carved out, kind of tried to make it look like there was teeth there. That was the part that I didn't think looked the best, but I still felt like it looked pretty good. And then I added in some cherry tomatoes in the eyes with some toothpicks to kind of hold them in there. And I don't know, it's not perfect, but he's pretty creepy looking and I thought it was pretty cool and I thought it would be perfect for a Halloween themed lunch or dinner, a little Halloween party, whatever. Just stick him in the middle of your fruit and veggie tray. He just looks really creepy. So here is how everything turned out. We've got our jello brain with worms and fake blood. Our little creepy skeleton head with some veggies on the side and then our intestines which the intestines the pizza intestines were my favorite part they turned out to be delicious in taste but I thought they looked like so cool and in like a like dimly lit like Halloween party I think it would look really awesome and the kids loved it they thought the lunch was really great and yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you plan on making any of these things for your family or for a Halloween party or anything. I always love sharing new ideas with y'all every Halloween. And I hope that you guys continue to enjoy these videos. I will have a Halloween themed breakfast video up next week with three ideas for a Halloween themed breakfast. I hope y'all have a great weekend and I will see y'all on Sunday for the what's for dinner.